Namaste. We will look at the Abhignya Pariksha 2. That is the paper 2, which has Raghuvamsha, 12th Sarga, Sanskrita Rachana. There will also be some questions uh, uh, with grammar in general also. So since they have written Shabda Manjari here, um, there will be some questions from the Shabda Manjari also somewhere. Ha, phalam, marut, yushmat, ityadi. So that's where your Shabda Manjari is going to be useful. So let's go over the first section. Uh, first section you have Trayanam, Shlokanam, Pratipadartham, Tatparyamcha, Matrabhashayam, Likhata. These are shlokas from the 12th Sarga. Um, so there is a choice of three out of six. You will have to write three shlokas uh, out of the given uh, six. So since it is given Matra Bhashayam, again, just as how we uh, saw in paper one, here also, if you are confident of writing Pratipadartha and Tatparyam in Sanskritam itself, then you're most welcome to write or whatever other language you have given in your uh, application, whether it is Tamil, Telugu, Kannada or uh, English. Okay. So which Pratipadartham should we do? The problem will arise only if you are writing in English. Okay. Anvaya Pratipadartha. If it is in Sanskritam or any other Matra Bhasha, then you will only follow one pattern of Anvaya uh, which is very clear, which will be the same Anvaya that is there in Sanskritam also. Only when you write it in English, you are going to face a problem because the sentence structure of English would be very different. Please go over only uh, have the uh, Anvaya Krama of Sanskritam in your mind. Or if you are going to do it in English, have the Anvaya Krama of your Matra Bhasha also in mind. Put it in that process and then give your English explanations on the side. Okay. Uh, so keep stick to the Anvaya Krama of Sanskritam and uh, your Matra Bhasha because it is always easier to uh, uh, decode later as you go uh, further in higher, as you read other Kavyas. If you try to decode in English, um, unless you are very used to, I mean, if, if people who have been born here, who have been raised here, they think in English, then it will be easier for them to decode in English. Whereas decoding in uh, Sanskritam or in your Matra Bhasha would be much easier as you go along uh, dealing with the higher Kavyams. Okay. So stick to the Anvaya Krama of uh, what is there in your Chittur book. In the Chittur book, the Sanskritam Pratipadartha is also given. There is a Bhavartam also. In this section, it's not necessary to mention Alankaram or Vyakarana Vishesha or Samasthapadam, uh, Vigrahavakyam, etc. etc. If you know, if you are confident, then write. Uh, the lesser the information you give, the lesser chances that you are going to make mistakes. That's what it is. So usually when I, uh, uh, I'll correct the question papers like this and give, or sometimes I just type out the whole thing and take a printout and give. So it's, uh, uh, there are a couple of spelling errors in this section. Okay. So any questions with the first section? Do you have any issues? Uh, okay. Uh, then so we, we are yeah. just expected to write the Pratipadartha and Tatparya. Uh, yes. If we ha uh, anything extra we write is a bonus, and uh, it's a bonus. If we are confident. Yes. yes, because it has five marks here. Again, like the last paper, also think about how much you are going to write. See, in Dadato Mangalakshome Vasana Valkale, there is no alankaram as such. Suddenly, if you find a, a, a shloka which has a lot of alankaras, then you want to mention those. That will become a longer five mark answer when compared to this one. Hmm. Think of how you will balance all three. Keep it uh, similar so that the uh, examiner is not confused about it. Okay. That's one thing. Uh, since we are requested to write that uh, Pratipadartham in Anvaya Krama, we have to write the Anvaya first and then write the Pratipadartham. It will help you. Uh -huh. It will help if you write the Anvaya Krama beginning Anvaya Ha. Then you write the Pratipadartha. Mm -hmm. Then Tatparya. Then whatever Visheshas you want to write. Keep it in headings, underline. Think of it as some 10th standard board exam or 12th standard board exam where you will beautify your paper. Nothing. It is just to give attention for the examiner to say that, oh, this person knows. That's all. Okay. Uh, 
nothing else okay um any other questions with this uh, next one is chaturnam prashnanam samskrite samadhanam likhata it's very clearly it is given samskrite samadhanam likhata mostly these questions follow the set of questions that are there in the back there may be some extras also you can be prepared as long as you prepare all the questions that are there at the end of uh, your chitur book you should be fine prepare the answers beforehand so that you are familiarized with it and go over a few question papers vyoma has a set of question papers uploaded you can go over all of those uh, uh, question papers and pick out the questions that you don't know uh, this there are there is again a choice here of 4 out of 6 you have four marks for this so we will assume that it the answers will be a little lesser than what you answer for the earlier section okay because this is only a four mark question again it depends on the question also you you have to make a calculated choice you will have to understand what is it you know uh, so uh, how the question is like vanaraihi baddhah setuhu katam asit there is only one shloka which gives that answer it looked like as if shesha uh, came from the patadam so that is the only thing that you can explain to it for that so think about uh, ramaya ratham kaha preshayamasa indraha preshayamasa kim karanam ravanaha rathe asit ramastu padatihi asit tatra samayo reva yuddham shobhate iti karanat uh, ramasya api ratham preshaniyam iti chintayitva indraha ratham preshayamasa so give a little bit more of an explanation this four line explanation should be enough for questions like this okay um the next one trayanam sasandarbham matrabhashayam likhata so since again this is specified matrabhasha you can do it either in sanskritam or in matrabhasha english whichever the same three uh, uh, side headings that i gave yesterday granthol lekhaha you have sandarbhaha and then you have the uh, tatparyam or pratipadartham tatparyam meaning explanation vivaranam in the vivaranam you can have pratipadartha and tatparya for that particular line and in the the shloka in which that line comes you will not remember the whole shloka uh, unless you have made an effort to memorize uh, those specific shlokas usually erc shlokas are oft repeated shlokas okay erc as in sasandarbham vyakhyata these shlokas would be oft repeated ones if you have memorized those then well and good it will be easier for you when you attempt this uh, section so you'll remember right like tadeva abhut mangalam vyali eva malayad drumam palita chadmana jara is in the first beginning thing you should remember uh, uh, those shlokas would be very easy for you to remember okay mostly you will find an alankara based part would be mentioned in this sasandarbha maximum you know uh, uh, because it is something which is unique which you cannot identify there is no ramaha there is no ravanaha see vaidehyaha eva murtimat again you have vaidehi but what is it representing you will have to remember what it means so mostly 99% they will only ask the last or the fourth pada or the second pada uh, for sasandarbham vyakhyata so you need to know where which context that shloka comes in here again you have a choice of 3 out of 6 okay is that clear till now any questions bakini so here how we have to uh, do granthol lekha because all are from raghuvamsha 12th chapter so how do we do that you just do that that's there is no other that's, uh, that's the only thing uh, idam vakyam uh, raghuvamsha dvadasha sarge uh, sargatu udhritam that's it but keep i know it is repetitive think of it as you are going to write only three sentence three times it's like uh, yeah what okay, to do okay. so mohode ah. can you hear me mm chalo yes i can hear ah. you so uh, out of curiosity uh, there are no questions on alankaras per se right at this no. level not at all oh, okay. you don't need to write alankaras okay okay but yeah 
you are not expected to uh, mention you are not expected to do anything usually my method is i will always teach that this is supama alankara even in rama katha when there was that sajjanam bhoja baskaram there also i taught what is uh, upama alankara it's a way of introducing yourself and getting yourself familiarized with this okay uh now the next section is samuchita vibhakti bihi rikta sthanani purayata from here your samskrita rachana part starts here in this so aham kimapi na rochate mahyam kimapi na rochate these are all sections from your samskrita rachana which are basic grammar that is dealt with uh, mostly even the sentences would be those sentences that are there in the rachana text there will not be anything there may not be anything new um yeah gata saptahe and all that so if you have any doubts with that uh, we'll work again na samadhanani likhata these are questions uh, these questions are also part of samskrita rachana not part of bodhini or any other uh, text here so adya mangala vasaraha chet parakhya kaha vasaraha this is that lesson you there are a couple of lessons in samskrita rachana where it deals with all of these things even pandavanam pitamahah kaha bhishmah ityadi uh, don't uh, try to write something off hand like uh, you know vichitra virya or someone like that please try to stick to what is the popular answer that you might have uh, might be easier dharma rajasya kati sodaraha not shut he has only four don't say five including karna and all that let's stick to the popular version it's easier for you that's all okay if you are mentioning five and you are going to say karna also then please say karna karna ha tab tasya agraja ha asit iti separate line uh, don't confuse it's only a one mark question easiest to score uh, try not to give something off hand and lose your mark in this it's all easy scoring sections now here mostly you will have halant pullinga or halant strilinga halant shabdaha most cases are sarvanama shabdaha uh, you will find this uh, uh, mostly here in this section because we have dealt with uh, ajanta uh, shabdaha in uh, um, parichaya level okay now this is what i was talking about in the uh, bodhini uh, section so you will have an underlined version here so himalayat ganga pravahati rekhankitani padani adhritya uh, adhritya uh, prashnarthakani vakyani likhata so which means you will consider only the word himalayat and write a prashna word for that particular word so you will say kasmat ganga pravahati athava kutaha ganga pravahati नेक्स्ट इज विज्ञानाथ ग्रंथ पठनीय अथवा कस्म ग्रंथ पठनीय आईदर् वुड वर्क सो घंटावादने बालका विद्यालय प्रवशति कदा बालका विद्यालय प्रवशति थिंक अबउट वाट वुड बी द बेस्ट क्वेश्चन सब्सटिट्यूट फॉर द अंडरलैंड वर्ड इफ देर इज नथिंग अंडरलैंड मोस्टली i will correct it and send so that you are you are uh, restricted to that particular thing so it should not be a problem next is vakyani vakyani samshodhya likata these you don't have any choice in these questions once you start this number 4 section your choice is very less here because it is grammar and you are expected to know your basics clearly vakyani samshodhya likata we went through this yesterday also it's the same thing so saha pustakam pathaniyam tena pustakam pathaniyam uh, or saha pustakam pathet you it depends you can change whichever you feel like and whichever you think you will make less mistakes so we are trying to minimize your mistakes and try to keep it simpler okay this is exam for the exam that's why next is matrabhashayam panchanam artham likata you can give paryaya vachi shabda in sanskritam or in english or matrabhasha so this has a choice of 5 out of 
ಚತುರ್ನಾಮ್ ವ್ಯತಿರೇಕ ಪದಾನಿ ಲಿಖತ ವ್ಯತಿರೇಕ ಪದ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ರಚನಾ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೇರ್ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲೆಸನ್ ಇನ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ರಚನಾ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪಿಕ್ಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಆಂಟನಮ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯತಿರೇಕ ಪದಾನಿ go over that usually they will only give those or those people who are writing both papers together you can look at uh, samudraha lesson and sanskrita sabha lesson also just to be sure of what the words are um sandhatta these uh, sandhis are also there uh, in rachana chaturnam anyalingani likhata these are also present in sanskrita rachana next section uh, is the ಸದ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫರ್ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಫರ್ಗೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಸಮ್ ಏಟಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸದ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾಂ ಕೋಷ್ಟಕೆ ಲಿಖತ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಕವೀನ ಪೋಷಕ ಕಾಳಿದಾಸ ರಾಜಾಭೋಜ ಕುಂತಿಭೋಜ ಸೊ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪೇಟ್ರನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ poets so this again is in sanskrita rachana you must have seen that so raja bhojah eva sanskrita kavinam poshakah where if you are writing uh, uh, your uh, uh, raghuvamsha in the next cycle it would be good to keep in mind some of the uh, lessons in bodhini 1 and bodhini 2 also to just go over for the last section i'll come to that again now this is just mark the correct answer in the bracket when you take it out and write it you can just underline uh, uh, say the answer is a shatrujanah or a parijanah bandhujanah uh, whatever you want uh, uh, write the correct number in your answer sheet because you're not expected to fill up the question paper and send the question paper you will have to write it in your answer sheet so write the correct number to be sure right bandhu janaha also right a and then right raja bojaha also you don't need to write sanskrita kavinam poshakah you just need to write the answer correctly that's all the next is etani padani prayujya vakyani likhata i know it's very easy to write um, something like guru ho shishyam prichhati drishtva iti padasya arthah kah iti it's that's the easiest way if, because before and all we used to write that in our school when we did not know the meaning of any word so we'll just make up a sentence like that please don't do that that is only when you have some 15 words and you don't know half of it right these are all simple words like drishtva after seeing yatra tatra these again you must have had so much of practice while you are studying bodhini and uh, sanskrita rachana because the sentences in those lessons are all with these formats only so something or the other you can pick out from there and write a simple sentence uh, don't lose out some simple marks like two marks and all if there you can score fully ಮಾತೃಭಾಷಾಂ ಅನುವಾದ ಕುರುತ ನಿರಾಡಂಬರ ಜೀವರಮೇವ ಗ್ರಾಮಾಂ ಸರ್ವಸ್ವ ದಿಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬೋಧಿನಿ ಲೆಸನ್ಸ್ ಬೋಧಿನಿ ಒನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ವೃತ್ತಿಕಾರ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬೋಧಿನಿ ರೈಟ್ ರಜಕ ಮಲಿನಾ ವಸ್ತ್ರ ಧೌತಾ ಕರೋತಿ ಬೋಧಿನಿ ಟೂ bodhini 2 da vrittikara hmm. okay then this is bodhini 2 only so these sentences are from that one and a half marks each there is no choice again uh, uchitaihi sankhya vachaka padaihi uchita sthanani purayata uh, uh, pancha saptatihi vrikshaha santi so this again is from sanskrita rachana uh the numbers are given as one lesson at the end i think somewhere near the end there is a lesson on numbers also so go over that uh when you remember that 1 2 3 and 4 have genders uh, uh, proper genders for those numbers so dasharathasya tisraha bharyaha asan not trayaha trini depends on that particular uh, gender that the object is going to uh, uh, indicate so remember that when you have bhrataraha here that doesn't matter if it has ದುರ್ಯೋಧನಸ್ಯ ದೆನ್ ಓಕೆ ಧರ್ಮರಾಜಸ್ಯ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಚತ್ವಾರ ಭ್ರಾತರ ಆಸನ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಜೆಂಡರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫ್ರಮ
you can just mention that number that is enough ashtadasha adhyayaha santi okay navanavati ekonashatam bhrataraha asanna next one prakriti pratyayo vichhidya athava samyojya likhata these you don't need to write the entire sentence in your answer sheet you just need to write gamu plus twa gatva khaditum is equal to khad plus tumun svikrilyap is equal to svikritya just write this alone in your uh, 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 answer sheet you don't need to write the entire sentence there is no choice in this now this last section is a little tricky sometimes i have seen mahabharata katha here you have lessons from the first uh, uh, this thing also first bodhini also you can have uh, lessons from the bodhini too also just using those clues you will know which lesson that is when i say shishyehi saha tamasam nama nadim krauncha mithunam vyadhaha banena now immediately you know if you have read the lesson valmiki you know this is from the valmiki lesson you don't need to be accurate you can substitute with the words that you feel are appropriate for that particular sentence so ekada shishyehi saha valmiki hi tamasam nama nadim agachhat kraun tatra ekam kraunch mitunam vyadhe vyadhaha banena hanyamanam adarshat or something like that you can apashyat uh, uh, you can make up your own story as you go along it need not be correct um banena inga jaghana irukku you will have to try to use those words somehow it is a little tough but yeah you have a question here hello uh yeah, uh, yeah. i mean uh, in uh, sanskrit rachana uh, at the end of the uh, book they have mentioned uh, three uh, less three uh, kathas from uh, uh, bodhini one yeah that uh-huh. is kakaha dijambu kascha kilod pati vanaraha and mahabharatam ha huh, then i think that is what they have been following yeah yeah that is hmm. yeah, in all the question papers say, i have not yeah. ah good good once i saw some surya or something in some old uh, uh, question paper i was not sure uh, so that's why it's better to just go over the lessons once uh, before your exam you can fill it up okay so so how they hmm so uh, just to get some clarity on the breakup of this so in the papers that uh, that we went through before that covers only bodhini 2 and yeah. kathavallari or just bodhini 2 bodhini 2 and kathavallari and this one also covers bodhini 2 so was... this one has just a five mark question here which is there in the sanskrita rachana it is mentioned uh-huh. there so uh it, it covers not the entire bodhini to but only for you know uh, uh, you have raghuvamsha dwadasha sarga and you have a text called samskrita rachana samskrita rachana is basically an abhyasa pustika where it teaches you to write on your own uh, mm-hmm. samskrita mm-hmm. it gives you the basics of grammar and uh, some mm-hmm. pra- prakriti pratyaya vivechanam and then some mm-hmm. uh, 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 gender conversion like adhyapakaha adhyapika mayuraha mm-hmm. mayuri ityadikam so there are some basic uh, like time and all that there is also mm-hmm. a section of uh, right on your own right you, you are given clues mm-hmm. and you make up a story on your own they mm-hmm. don't give you new ones which you have not encountered at all but they give you something from bodhini 1 and bodhini 2 which we assume you have oh, oh, oh. studied oh i That's see all. i see got it got it yes. okay yeah uh, any other uh, questions with i think we are done with all the sections in this so yeah the questions are there in the same a uh, document okay another to which in a very very ओके भरत कथम राज्यम अपालयत या डोंट वरी अबाउट द नो दैट इज आस्क्ड एज राम कथम 
अनंतरम कति गताः इफ यू आर इन 2024 यू रेट 2024 बिकॉज़ यू स्टार्ट विद वन इयर बिकॉज़ गताः इज 23 राइट हां ओके यस 2023 या करेक्ट हां कुक्कुटाः कुत्र सन्ति ग्रामेषु उत जनपदेषु ग्रामेषु एव कुक्कुटाः सन्ति ओके या um atraya only a fragment of the shloka is given in the section since we rem- I may not remember the whole shloka is it enough if we write the vyakarana visheshamsha for the given snippet alone uh yes you are not uh, uh, asked to write vyakarana visheshas at this point i just told you about vyakarana visheshamsha to keep it as a template for later levels also if you know you write if you don't know it's okay it's fine you don't need to write it there okay um and since like some prakriti pratyaya that you have read in your sanskrita rachana if you can apply it here then you can do that also okay um next is samuchita vibhakti bihi rikta sthanani australia khanda ha iti asti va ha khandam paritah eva australia khandam ne you can write it oh yeah what simha khanane adena purila enak yeah that i didn't understand that's how it is there art ah. artaya something ataya atayan nasta or atan nasta probably it is there atan naste okay well change it don't worry <laughs> change it to something which you can understand um kapaya cha cheha hava no they don't have this kapayah then it should be in raghuvamsham and uh, they have taken it from raghuvamsham and given it kapayas cheruhula is that a shloka in ah, yeah yeah, yeah there, there is it is like there bhagini ha kapayah you are all writing the exam no but the che ha ha was not <laughs> adirikada <laughs> but enna va irukla nu you will have to try to guess right ha yeah should be cheruhu hmm chachara cheratu hu cheruhu iti that must have been the word okay next is ah sharavyam is the word not saravyam it should be sharavyam yeah i think this word is also there in rag uh, raghumsha hmm? yeah okay chaturnam yatireka padani likhata apanah you can write griham yes upayuktah anuchishtah na anupayuktah anupayuktah hmm go with that Kal- kalyanam अमंगलम इज फाइन ग्रीष्म वर्षा काल नॉट शरत काल वर्षा काल इज बेस्ट जय पराजय अपजय वेंड रईट पराजय दुष्ट बोथ शिष्ट साधु बोथ आर् करेक्ट um check the uh, sanskrit rachana where the vyatireka padani are given um, dushtaha the adliye examples pinnadi kira kurtur paale dushtaha shishtaha ityeva asti tatra so use that okay don't ha huh? uh, don't use uh, sadhu hu hmm? yeah one minute alia yeah, in that vyatireka padam Yeah. Um, Shishtaha is given. Next is uh, Nidra Jagaranam. Punyam Papam. Shokaha Harshaha. Uh, Sthala Margaha Akasha Margaha. Is Sthala Margaha there in Rachana? It was a question in an exam. 
exam seri na i was just wondering uh, if it is there sam- in samudra samud- yeah samudra maybe i mean can we write jalamarga ha ah, jalamarga ha is fine samudra no, marga ha there in raghuvamsham also raghuvamsham la eng irukke i thought it was there illi really, sthala marga ha word kedaiyadu okay no i don't think it's there uh one minute grishma kala ha this lesson they have all of those but it doesn't have uh, uh, another word for varsha is there ah uh, okay yeah sthulaha sukshmaha okay that's all nothing else nothing else okay sthala marga other question ha uh, chalo path to land sthala marga na means through land land hmm. through land i take it as through land so it should be in samudra ha lesson and you can look at samudra that lesson has that yes mm. always yeah yeah so any other uh, uh, questions on how to write that's it uh yeah, yeah. um um uh, bhagini actually this question is from uh, the first paper okay uh, for letters uh, do we have to write uh, those uh, to and from addresses for letters ha huh. huh. so that's what i said if you have time if you feel like it if you like to you know you usually write one box this side this side from and to right two boxes are there in that uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, bodhini you can write yeah. like that if you want to uh, it makes more sense to give that also to make it give to give it more uh, completeness okay Okay. If you have time, definitely it'll it'll be more uh, what to say. It'll look nice, right? It'll be more impressive also if you give the two address and from address. Make up something uh, and write. It's okay. Yeah. 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 Even yeah. for Virama Patram, Jwarar Tasya, um, for that also not for that, right? You, that uh, um, I I mean I I would totally leave it to you if you want to write it like that. you can write the address also but generally when you are posting it to someone then it makes sense to write the two address from address leave letter and all you will usually ask someone to hand it over to the teacher or you will come and uh, give it beforehand later after you come back from your holiday you will hand it to uh, over directly by hand so you don't need to write the two address from address but if it is describing a festival to someone who is in the uh, uh, village then you are going to post it then think about how it is going to be handed over to the uh, recipient if it is going to go through post try to give a two address and from address ah okay. yeah that's it 